nowadays you have access to so many horror and slasher games, survival horror, whatever. You know, you got Friday the 13th. Uh, the game's kind of on its way out at the time of this video, but it was a lot of fun getting to, you know, really jump in and play the role of Jason Voorhees. Uh, and kill people in game like Jason would, or put yourself in the role of the survivor, right? And uh, go against Jason, try to kill him or to escape. You got games like Dead by Daylight, another survival horror uh, multiplayer game, where you can either be a killer, and man, they have a hell of a library on that game, right? You got Freddy Krueger, Leatherface, Pinhead, uh, Ghostface, all kinds of original killers. And, you know, you, horror and survival games are a dime a dozen now. Uh, but it wasn't always that way. As a extremely huge slasher horror fan myself, I grew up intrigued by horror as well. And back whenever I was a kid, even though it was slim pickings back then, there wasn't as many horror games. There was actually more than you would think. Uh, there was plenty of games on the NES that you could count as horror, like Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Uninvited. I mean, you could even, you know, throw in Simon's Quest, uh, Ghosts and Goblins, uh, things like that. Uh, Sega Genesis, Splatterhouse, uh, Atari had Michael Myers and Leatherface games. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, of course, you know, we got to N64. There were a couple more on there, uh, Castlevania games and, and stuff like that. And, uh, of course, the PlayStation 1. We got introduced to Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Dino Crisis. Uh, but, yeah, back in those days, until around the time of the PS1, uh, you didn't have a huge selection of horror games at your disposal, but there are more than you would think. So with retro horror gaming, I'm going to take us back in time, all the way back to the Atari, maybe up to around the PlayStation 1, and in the episodes that you'll be watching on Slasher Librarian Presents Retro Horror Gaming, I'll be covering one game, play it you know, in parts until it's complete, and uh, move on to the next one. We're going to check out the history of horror and slasher games from the time of the Atari to the time of the PlayStation 1. We're not going to go in order, we're going to jump around here and there, uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So without further ado, it's time for Slasher Librarian Presents Retro Horror Gaming Episode 1 Part 1, Friday the 13th by LJN on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Enjoy. Okay, Slashaholics, here we go with Friday the 13th. Uh, let's uh, let's get it going. I do know about uh, fighting uh, Pamela. I'm gonna do that on the second day. That way I can get the sweater and uh, show you guys that. So here we go. Today we're gonna at least get to uh, we're gonna try to drain Jason as much as possible in this first part. But uh, I love how this is just like the movies, you know, everybody going around lighting torches in the fireplaces. Um, but yeah, a little funny story. Back whenever I was a kid, yes, I got some cheats turned on here just so you can see. Uh, this game actually scared me. When Jason would pop up on screen, I would be terrified. <laughs> like, oh my god, hurry, get him out of there. He would always kill me. Uh, another funny story, in 1996... Uh, I wanted an old Nintendo again. I was just in the mood to play some older games. I had the N64 and stuff, but uh, I wanted the wanted the old Nintendo back too. And one of the games I got with it from an old pawn shop was Friday the 13th, and I started trying to beat it again. And uh, I started having trouble with it. <laughs> I was like, I can't remember what to do. I'm still losing. So I called the Nintendo tip line and talked to the guy on there. And uh, explained to him what I was playing. He's like, okay, what you got to do is really important. Are you paying attention? I was like, yes, sir. He's like, okay, walk to your Nintendo. I was like, yeah. He goes, walk to your Nintendo. Okay, now hit that power button. I was like, huh? He's like, after that, you're going to take the game out and throw it away. He's like, no, I'm just kidding, kid. I can't help you with that. <laughs> with that game. So I called LJN, their tip line, and I actually got to talk to somebody, and they talked to me about the game. They didn't have the uh, guide and stuff with them anymore. Uh, but they did give me some tips of what they remembered, so that was kind of cool. Uh, they probably did that just because I was a kid. All right, we're going to have our first encounter with Jason here. All I've got is the stone. Uh, it's pretty weak, and <laughs> you'll see how slow Jason's power drains. I can't die. I have invincibility on, because I want to show you guys this game and beat it for you. And uh, I'm not that great at hard games like this, but uh, I'll show you how you could dodge Jason if you were fighting him. I was never good at it. you got to go around this... 3D house here. 
All right, Jason, where you at? There he is. If you do you can dodge by hitting down and left or down and right, but we're just gonna stand here and turbo shoot him until he goes away. Another secret, if after you defeat Jason, if you leave the house and go the right direction, you can catch him running to the next house and you can kind of stay up with him that way. But what you're supposed to do is get the lighters and go around and light all the fireplaces and then you get a flashlight. I don't think Jason went this way, so we're going to go back this way. But we need to start lighting the, uh, the fireplaces, I believe. It looks like he probably uh, left and uh, went down one of those paths, so I didn't, wasn't able to catch him this time. Uh, but let's light the fireplace here. You, you want to light all the fireplaces, then you get a flashlight, and then you can go into the caves, uh, and it lights that up for you. Oh, see, it's so confusing on this thing. Uh, you know, the cabins in Crystal Lake, you know, with the... Uh, brown walls and uh, shit green floors um, with no furniture. That's what I remember from the movies. This is in fact the Jarvis home. Oh my god, I'm back there. But at least, you know, I can get power-ups from all the zombies. You remember them from the movie? I guess somebody, one of the people on the game watched the end of part three and thought that zombies were just, you know, part of the whole thing. So we're looking for the big cabins right now, because that's where uh, the fireplaces are. It's just hard to get a... There we go. And there's notes and stuff you can find that gives you hints on where to go. Uh, the sweater helps you take less damage, which doesn't really matter since I've got invincibility on. But we're going to go ahead and get it anyways on the second day, probably in the next video, uh, just so we can, uh, so I can show you all the different things you can do in the game, at least the stuff that I know. I'm killing these zombies trying to get a better weapon. Okay, I've got to get all the way over to that uh, blinking cabin, so let's see if I can get there in time. I got super jump on here. Uh, you think I'd go this way, right? Is this? Am I going the right way? Yes, I'm going the right way. Okay. You kind of turn around at the maps. Oh, I saw the knife down there. Oh man, I missed it. Uh, I might need that to heal some other counselors. Remember the uh, zombies that jumped out of the water in all the water scenes in uh, the Friday the Thirteenth movies? Oh, there's Mr. Jason. All right. Uh, oh my god, these kids are more terrifying than Jason is. Look at their faces. Ugh. I'm not sleeping tonight. Alright, let's go fight Jason now. Hey, you don't have the toothbrush yet. It looks like he's got a boomerang. I know it's a machete. Look at that. I get like two things off of him, and he runs away. You remember Jason being a little pussy in the movies? Uh, apparently that's... Uh... And who's saying I win for now? Uh, you win for now. Is that Jason or these creepy counselor kids in here? All right, let's get back in the water. And I don't think the days start until you kill Jason. I think that's what the second day is. Um, we're gonna see. Okay, real quick. so that is right. Once we kill Jason uh, the first time, it'll start day two, and then we'll uh, move on from there. Uh, and then we can go get the sweater from Pamela, and that'll help us out. And, but we need to get all these uh, fireplaces lit uh, so we can get the flashlight and then the torch. It kills him faster. So we're going to unpause, and we're going to head for the blinking cabin. Let's see, we're going the wrong way. That's so irritating, the way that, the way that works. But we're going to need a better, ah, better weapon soon. Yes, I know, it's probably not as cool that I'm uh, fighting this and uh, cheating with invincibility, but this is about the, ex you know, beating the game, getting through it, showing you everything in it, and not so much seeing me die over and over and over again. Though I can see how that would be fun, too. So we win for now. I just pictured Jason's mother's voice saying that now, I guess. 
You win for now, but my boy will get you. Um, there's Chrissy. Uh, everybody remember Chrissy from the films? Uh, you know, wearing the really ugly clothes and uh, no face. Uh, my my oldest sister's name is Chrissy. That's uh, it's Christina. Uh, we called her Chrissy growing up. And uh, I remember this always freaking me out, thinking my sister was in the game getting chased by Jason. Um, so here we go. We're going to try to see if we can figure out which way Jason went. If he went that way, he probably went down that path. There's a key we can use for later uh, to get into Pamela's room. I did not mean to do that. Um, yeah, Jason probably took one of these paths. So, All right, let's start doing the torches again, or the lighting the fireplaces again. Um, so we can get the torch. That really, that really, oh, there's a note there. Let's see here. We're going to take the note. Go into the cabin near the cave. Okay. Sure. I planned on going into all the cabins, but, uh, who wrote this note anyways? You know, who's giving him clues? Is it just some guy creeping in the shadows? Or is Jason just setting me up, you know? Yeah, go into that cabin near the cave. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're going to get back after it, light some more fireplaces, because that's the, you know, that's the plot of all the Friday the 13th movies. We need to kill some zombies. Yeah. Look at this. It just goes over their heads half the time. Alright, we got to get to the kids. Uh, we'll come back up here see if we missed anything. Did, did we get this one? Pretty sure we got all the, the big cabins up here, but let's let's make sure. Oh, we did not. Okay. So I think that, that was the last of them. A little snuffy. Sorry about that. Ah, I get so lost in this fake 3D crap. Um... But I do have fond memories of this game, even though I died all the time. It was fun to play and scare myself. Every time Jason would pop out uh, in a house or... Ooh, we don't want to go there. Where are we at? Oh, wow. I, I totally went the wrong way. Anytime he'd pop up uh, to fight in a house or on the road, he would always freak me out. Uh, I would jump. Uh, so we're going to go this way, I think. Nope, we're going the wrong way. Uh, it's so confusing. So confusing. You think I would figure it out after a while. <laughs> so we're going to go to that house near the cave after this. Because that's where they're saying uh, the next clue would be. But for now, let's go in here and fight Jason. Look at that. He, If he hits me, like one hit when it, without, the, without the cheat would take like a quarter of my health away. Debbie's been in there with him for like a minute. And she's taking like four things. All right, let's fight him with the knife. That should do a little more damage, but not much more. Hey, he's not letting me go. That's kind of cool. He's got me right at the door. Hey, he's got his toothbrush. Come here, I'm going to brush your teeth, Josh. I win for now. All right, let's see if we can figure out which way he went. Nope. There we go. See, if you can... And we can just keep following him now. This is a way to get to the second day a lot quicker. You just keep following Jason. He probably went in this one, yep. And we're going to chase him down again after this, guys. We're going to get to day two and uh, take it from there. But I'm really, I'm really excited about doing these videos with you. I love classic video games, especially the classic horror ones. I'm looking forward to Uninvited. I think you guys are going to enjoy that one. It's kind of a point-and-click game from back then, but it's got some pretty scary moments in it. All right, looks like Jason got away from us this time, guys. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, light the fireplace while we're here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hate this stuff. I hate these houses. 
I mean, you know, they. this is actually really impressive for what the NES was capable of, that they went for the whole 3D thing, but it does get confusing. See, I've, t I've went around in a circle. I need to go left. Pretty much you keep going left. At the yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a note. Let's see here. You can find a torch in one of the cabins by the lake. I, I really want to know who's going around writing these notes and leaving them. I, I, I have my suspicions that it's Jason just trying to set you up. Come on, come on, come by the lake, you get a torch. Yeah, you get a torch up your ass. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go, we'll, we'll head to the lake. So we're by the lake. It says there's a torch here somewhere. I don't know if it's this cabin, but... I don't even know if I'm investigating the whole house or not at this point, but... Oh, okay, it's not this one by the lake. I wonder if we actually have to go to the cabin in, like, in the lake. Let's try it. We'll, we'll, we'll check them all. Do 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 This music is creepy too after a while. Well, I don't see a torch in this one, so we're gonna keep Oh, there it is! Hey! And this thing is a beast. This is the best weapon in the game. The best. But if you mess up and uh see it's like one hit, it kills them. If you mess up and use that uh and accidentally hit like a knife or something in the air, you lose it. So right now we're going to want to find Jason because we can actually do a lot of damage to him at the moment. Uh, not Debbie. So I'm trying to get to day two so we can fight Pamela's head and get the sweater. Ideally you would want to uh, light all the, all the uh, fireplaces to get the flashlight. Uh, let's see where Jason's hiding now guys. He's actually back on the lake so we're going to go back to the lake. Hey look, I'm lighting the, the water on fire. That's some impressive shit, right? This guy can run. Alright, uh, wait. Oh, there went Jason. But you know, Jason's afraid of water, right? Freddy versus Jason? Uh, let's see if we can do some damage to Jason now. Uh, see how quick he runs away like a little pud. Here we go, come out Jason. Look at that damage we're doing to him, guys. We got him down to half damage already, half health. So we're knocking this one out. You win for now. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's see which way Jason. Went. Oh, he went. Through. Hey, we're gonna get. We're gonna get to fight him again, guys. We're gonna knock him out. Let's chase him down. We can end this first day. We did it. We ended the first day, guys. But watch out, Jason's still alive and stronger than before. Alright guys, this has been day one of Friday the 13th on this first episode of Retro Horror Gaming. I'm going to be back very soon with day two. And uh, in that episode, we're going to go check out uh, Pamela's little secret area. We're going to fight her severed head. And we're going to have a little bit harder time fighting Jason because he's even stronger on the second day. And uh, after that, we'll get to the third day and finally defeat Jason and put this old, horrible game behind us. Okay, it's not so bad. But uh, let me know what you guys thought. If you have any memories of playing this game, whether it was as a kid back in the 80s, the 90s, or just a few years ago. Uh, I'd love to talk to you guys about this game. I have so many memories about it. Going out and renting it at the video store, uh, getting it home. Uh, sneaking it because uh, my brother had rented it and like me and my sister weren't supposed to play because we were too little but sneaking it anyways and then fully regretting it when we scared ourselves shitless uh, playing it at night with Jason jumping out with his giant toothbrush uh, I, I love you guys I hope you had a lot of fun with this part two will come out soon that'll be day number two and we're gonna take Jason out again I expected this episode to be a little bit longer but we found the torch quicker than I expected and that torch is a beast uh, with that and doing the whole chasing Jason down after you defeat him in a cabin, we lucked out a couple times and found which direction he went, and that gave us a bunch of extra hits. 
And on top of that, I'm cheating because uh, there's no way I could beat this game without it. I could, but it would take forever. And uh, I don't think you guys want to set through all that. Uh, until next time with part two, you guys be excellent to each other. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.